everybody, welcome to a very special episode of Northern Alliance Challenge Runs on the Binding of Isaac. It's very special, because this run is kind of batshit insane. It's very simple, it's very elegant, always uh, those are the ones that I have a preference for. Let's explain what's going on, uh, and why YouTube user... It's either hate Idaho, or like, hey Tidaho. I'm kind of confused about it, but why he is uh, both my favorite and uh, most hated person on Earth right now, depending on how this run turns out. This is absolutely worth a bomb, but this is also... Uh, called the You Can't Always Get What You Want run, named after, you know, depending on your preferences. Please be. Wow, that's a good item. I'm absolutely gonna take that, actually. Um, named after both a, you know, Rolling Stones lyric as well as uh, a quote that I say all of the time when I'm playing this very game. Now, the way that this works is we're only gonna take one item on every floor. There's no item rooms allowed. There's technically no boss items allowed. Um, but the way that it's gonna work is essentially we're at the end of every floor after we kill a boss I've modified the run origin from its original concept to make it actually a little bit more difficult because normally It was gonna be two items per floor, but I, I changed it and we're gonna Suggest one item that we think is awesome. Let's say mom's knife and one item that we think is terrible uh, Let's say nine lives and then we are going to basically flip a coin on random.com uh, And if it's heads well, we'll just you know We'll deal with that as it comes, but if it's the if I cr predict predict the coin flip correctly then we'll take the good item, and if I predict it incorrectly, we will take the bad item. So this is a run that could be interesting. The reason I wanted to do one item per floor instead of two is because I feel like bad items don't always necessarily uh, have a horrible impact on your run. Uh, whereas good items have almost universally an amazing impact on your run. So I think we kind of had to get into a position where, you know, getting... You know, if we doubled our chances of getting good items, I think that would make the run too easy. Let's just put it that way. It might already be too easy. So the other condition I'm going to apply is that, uh, I, wow, Pentagram is actually just awesome in its own right. Uh, but the other condition I'm going to apply is that no Epic Fetus, no Fetus in a Jar. So only, you know, those two items accepted because I think they would make it a little bit too easy. Mom's Knife, Brimstone still on the table. So, with our first one here, let's say uh, I, this is the, the worst item, the one I could consider having the worst impact on the game. Nine lives if I get it wrong, Mom's Knife if I get it right. So we're going to boot up random.com here. Hopefully you can see this fairly well. Uh, heads, I get Mom's Knife. Tails, I get, uh, nine lives. Heads, okay, that's a good start for me. Uh, let's minimize this. Hopefully you guys can see that alright. Then we'll boot up Cheat Engine. It, it, when I say elegant, obviously there's a little bit of inelegance in the run, you know, from this kind of style of things right here. But in any case, we're just gonna go down to the next floor, then we'll disable Cheat Engine for another floor. Uh, and I'm feeling pretty good about things so far. Again, we probably only need to get three or four of these correct in order to have a, uh, a decent chance at moving forwards. Shops are technically okay, given, uh, you know, hate Idaho. I, I have nothing against the province of Idaho, as I understand it. They're pretty well known for producing potatoes, which are, you know, certainly a contender for my favorite vegetable. Uh, so, uh, you know, I don't hate Idaho, but maybe he's just saying, hey, Tidaho. I was saying boo urns. But in any case, again, we'll, we'll stick with nine lives as the worst item, because I think that's the one that gives us seriously like the lowest or the the highest chance of not succeeding or of totally botching our existing run. And I want to get, if possible, nine lives early as opposed to late, because then I could stack HP up on top of that. Uh, I don't even know what I would want next. I'm probably gonna just you know go hard to try to get these damage upgrades to start with, uh, and then after that maybe we'll uh, you know cross different bridges like health and I don't know. Passive range upgrade or uh, passive health upgrades. Uh, so let's again load up random, and I'm gonna say Polyphemus for heads and nine lives for tails. All right, we have gotten tails. That caribou head is tails. If you're not familiar with Canadian currency, so we are gonna get nine lives. If, if we have to get it, I'm happy that we got it now as opposed to uh, later. Is it called? Is it Guppy? Guppy's hairball. What is nine lives called? Is it just N? Not no. I think I ran into this before. Maybe it's called Dead Cat. I never look for it. Yes, there it is. Dead Cat. Okay. So this is going to give us nine lives, and it should take us down to one health as well. So we're going to be in an interesting situation. This might be a case where I want to kind of stack up health next time. Uh, what will be my next item of choice? I'm going to say that, uh, you know, bad one will be Lemon Mishap, and we'll stick with... Oh, well, I'm just going to die here, I guess. Oh, we lived. I didn't... I thought that would do more damage. Um... Yeah, so we'll go with Lemon Mishap for bad, and for good, it's kind of up in the air, and I might want to stack some health up, rather than taking uh, Polyphemus, so let's just... It's not, remember, it's not like Final Four tournament style, uh, where I absolutely have to, you know, take whatever item I tried to take on the last floor. It's flexible, which is both good and bad. Again, shops technically allowed via the conditions of the run to begin with, but I'm going to stay away from them because I think it's a, a little bit cheap 
given that I will be able to stack up some, some seriously awesome items here. Just by virtue of basically benefiting from a coin flip. This is almost, in a way, it's like a, uh, an easier version of that run where uh, I had to predict the boss. Which was borderline impossible. That was the fortune teller run. That was a fun run, though. I, I liked that one in the end. For about the first five floors, though, I, you know, strongly hated the man who suggested it, whose name I cannot remember. But if I looked around the scattered cue cards on my desk, uh, which is where I keep the Isaac runs, I guess I could look for that. But, you know, let's not bother for now. I don't think it's all that important. Maybe you're not as interested in it as I am. Let's get this greed head over here. Obviously, I'm concerned because one single hit is enough to kill me. There we go, though. Uh, a single health upgrade or a, a drop would be fantastic. Not in the dubstep sense, but more in the, you know, Diablo sense. Uh, is it worth the bond to get that? I kind of think it is, actually, if it gives me one more hit of survival. It's basically doubling my existing health. And one bomb for doubled health is, is probably worthwhile. Now, fairly easy boss, especially considering it's not the champion version of him that creates bomb flies, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, I guess we probably do not even need the HP upgrade, thank God for that spirit art. Okay, so we're gonna go... Um, hmm, how should we make this work? I'm gonna say heads, the relic, because I really want to stack up as much health as possible. In fact, it might be better to go for even something like lard, uh, or, or raw liver, or an all stats upgrade. Um, hmm, let's think about this. You know, I, I'm gonna go lard for heads, I'm sorry, not lard, um, I'm gonna go relic for heads, and for Tails, we're gonna take Lemon Mishap, and we, we won't take any other spacebar items if that's the case. Uh, we don't want Cheat Engine, we want uh, Random.com. Remember, Caribou is Lemon Mishap, Queen Elizabeth is, uh, what was I gonna say, the Relic. It is Lemon Mishap, awesome! So we're stacking up some pretty bitchin' items so far. Uh, this means our survival is gonna be put off a little bit, but let's, uh, you know, stick to the conditions of the run. I'm glad I haven't gotten three correct, because that would make things far too easy at this point. It's, it's almost better for it to be more balanced. We've got the yin and the yang here, so let's get rid of, uh, cheap engine. And then we'll continue onwards with Lemon Mishap. And on the bright side, it's almost sort of an upgrade in some senses of the word, because I can actually use Lemon Mishap as opposed to not being able to use uh, the D6 at all. But the reason it's a downgrade overall, at least in my professional opinion, uh, oh, oh, that was so close, is um, because now like I'm, I'm making this my spacebar item for the entirety of the game. There's no way for me to change it. So let's kill this neutral fly so I don't F myself up here. We'll take the nickel and move along. Again, you know, if we get a judgment, standard challenge run rules apply. Getting a judgment. Oh. Live. Survive. Ooh, we're still alive. Okay, we lost the spirit heart, but we're okay. Um, if we get a judgment, you know, that's fair play as far as items go. Similarly, if we find a golden chest, that's fair play. As such, items in the chest are totally fair play, and it's well worth playing these pills. If these are like a health upgrade, uh, this could save the run right here. Or if they're balls of steel, tears down. Not really a huge deal, it was worth the risk. Um, okay, there is almost certainly a better way to deal with this room than what I've been doing. That's a lot of money. We want to, if I could kill both of these guys at the same time, it's gonna require a great shot. Wow, that worked fantastically. And then we just leave and the flies are dead when we come back. Well, some of them are anyway. Don't stand there! Don't stand there, you fool! Oh my god, he stood there. Well, we have the Empress card. Let's just go fight the boss right away. It's gonna be Pestilence. I don't think it's worth using the Empress card. I did put down Lemon Mishap. Just in case, you know. You never know. Uh, he's taking, he took some damage from Lemon Mishap. Certainly not a lot, but better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, I don't want to get close to him here, as you might expect. He's dead. We have a deal with the angel. That red heart appeals to me a great deal. Now, what's a bad item? I guess holy water would be bad. Um, if we're talking about bad passives, holy water, and I, I'm going to stack up the relic again. I feel like the relic would be fantastic. So we want uh, heads, holy water, tails, relic. So we're flipping again. Heads, oh my god. I said heads, holy water, tail, relic, didn't I? That's not what I meant, but I feel like now I should kind of stick to that. So heads is holy water. That is an awful mistake. I will always find some way, apparently. To mess myself up when I'm playing the Binding of Isaac. But we're gonna drop down to the next floor with additional holy water. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and I've just gotta be a little bit more conscious, I guess, when I make those decisions in the future. So we are going to continue rolling to the left side here. Uh, I'm gonna probably die against these zombies basically right away. Holy water actually hooked me up pretty strong there, but in any case, we, we did lose a life. But that's okay, we've got eight left to go. And really, we only have to get. 
don't make the same mistake twice, please. Um, and really, we only have to get one or two correct items or correct guesses on these predictions in order to get enough health to probably survive for the rest of the game. That Spirit Heart is very valuable as well, of course. Um, the, the question is, do, now at this point, do I want to roll with the Relic? Or do I want to uh, move onwards and maybe just go straight with like a health upgrade, like a, again, a Lard? I'm not sure if Lard is the highest payout health upgrade. Obviously the compensation is that it comes with a speed downgrade, but uh, I, I kind of just need the raw health. I know raw liver is good as well. We could always go for a, a damage plus health upgrade, like a Stigmata or, uh, you know, any kind of uh, all stats upgrade, like an SMB Superfan, I think is, is certainly a viable option. Um, we may also want to... Oh, that was so close. Actually, I ended up getting hit. We may also want to go with something like the Wafer as we get closer and closer to the Womb, which would actually kind of double my effective health, which would be interesting. By the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but my point earlier about Golden Chest being okay, that does extend to the chest as well in, in, in the case of this run. I usually take it on a case-by-case -case basis, and uh, given what we have right now, I think items on the chest should totally be allowed. Can I place a bomb here without hurting myself? I think so. I was indeed correct, but also a little frightened, so one bomb for two bombs is a fair trade. Uh, this may be the boss room, or it could just be, uh, you know, a nasty old dead end. Let's just hang out over here. Don't really want that scent, but the key appeals to me a great deal. This is indeed our boss room, so I feel somewhat vindicated for taking this direction in the first place. I uh, definitely want to kill that nub. Oh, okay. We've taken some damage, but that's okay. Tears down. Is that the only pill available or something? Like, did all the other pills call in sick today? Because all I can seem to get is tears down. In which case, shame on you, other pills. Who are we fighting here? It's Loki. Again, I'm going to save this Empress card. It's going to be worth substantially more to me if we can put ourselves in a better situation. Now, after getting health, uh, a big... Like, I'm going to probably go health, wafer. I don't need extra damage with Mom's Knife. It's, it's always nice. That's why I wanted to get Polyphemus on the second floor before we ended up having only one health. Um, but... Uh, I, I want to get, like, health, wafer, and then after that, maybe move on to flying, because I kind of need the defense more than anything else. Okay, heads, we're going to go SMB Superfan. Heads is SMB Superfan, tails is what's a bad passive item. Um, let me think about that. Actually, we could look through the... A bad passive item might be Guppy's Tail, but that might actually be good in this situation. Let's just look for stuff that is not really all that useful. Um, it's a bad passive item. Hmm. I, I wish I could take, like, uh... Uh... Charm of the Vampire might be bad in our current situation. Uh, what I was gonna say is that I wish I could take, uh, like, Kamikaze or something, but that is, that's kind of cheating because I'm not actually giving myself a bad item. I'm just taking away a worse item. Um, all, all of these are pretty good, actually. This is the problem. Um, maybe, like, an attack fly might be a bad one. Forget me now. doesn't really work. Um, is there anything that makes... What about Wiggle Worm? Okay, so let's say... I'm trying to think back to my top ten worst items list. So let's say it's Wiggle Worm if I get it wrong. So if Wiggle Worm is Tails, and uh, SMB Superfan is Heads. It's probably better to take the Relic or, or Dead uh, dead Dove or Spirit of the Night. Um, but let, okay, let's say SMB Superfan Heads and uh, Wiggle Worm Tails. So we're going to flip again. It is Queen Elizabeth, if you look at the timestamps. So I am going to go Cheat Engine, Cheat Engine, SMB Superfan. So I feel good about that. Little extra damage uh, and a little extra health. Little extra tears, little extra range. Why is Cheat Engine suddenly not working? Did I not turn off? Uh, what did we get last time? Not holy water. Add item when entering next room, please. Okay, now we can go... Oh, I never turned off uh, Lemon Mishap. Okay. So we go down to SMB Superfan here. Apologies for the technical issues here, but this, this is what happens when you're rolling with a, a run that actually requires me to use like three separate active windows. Sometimes there is a little bit of confusion. So we have SMB Superfan. Uh... If we get through this floor without dying, which is, you know, certainly a, a valid possibility, um, we're gonna probably try to pick up the wafer, because this is the most, oh, that was bad, uh, the most immediately useful item. Then we might either go for, like, a serious raw health upgrade, uh, you know, again, like a lard, or we might go for a second all stats upgrade, or we might go for 
uh, Spirit of the Night, or we might eventually just go for damage. It's still very much up in the air. I'm going to try to tailor it to what I feel my run is lacking. Uh, at the very least, we've lost all of our skin, which at least makes us the ultimate badass. I continue to take some staggeringly bad damage. If that was a golden chest, I would have opened it for sure, but as is, uh, we're rolling pretty much itemless. Mom's Knife and SMB Superfan, Lemon Mishap. And uh, just trying to rush the boss room, I guess, as soon as possible. Good thing is, you know, Mom's Knife, I can't really complain. Having had that since the first floor, that's probably allowed us to get as far as we've gotten so far. I really wish uh, we'd gotten some more right so that... I, I, we're, we're roughly 50-50. I think I've gotten three wrong. It, one of them was a technicality. So it's almost like two right, two wrong, and a draw. But the draw ended up being a loss. Ag entirely due to my own stupidity, but still. Now... Mom, depending on the mom we fight, it should be easy. Mom's knife works very well against mom. Uh, we have unfortunately reached a dead end. I say unfortunately, but it might actually be a good thing. Because uh, the more rooms we explore, the more possibilities we have to pick up some extra red hearts, extra spirit hearts, and whatnot. Uh, what is whatnot, anyway? What a strange expression. I never really thought about it. But it, it sounds like something you'd learn to tie in the Boy Scouts. Uh, now, just play it cool here. This bomb fly is potentially valuable. Again, I have Lemon Mishap, I just don't know how to use it effectively at all, so we're gonna leave. And again, I'm trying to think. I, I think the Wafer is the smart choice for the next floor. Uh, beyond that... I, I guess it depends what negative item we get as well. I should probably pick up Burnt Penny for now, but eh, who really cares, essentially. I'll probably use the Empress here if uh, it ends up being Blue Mom especially, then it's, it's basically like a 100% guarantee that I'll use uh, the Empress card here. Because surviving against Mom is a, a big uh, factor for us. A big obstacle, if you will. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with my words lately. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's that's an important moment for us. Now, we're just gonna... Oh, man, I can't believe I walked into that. Let's just go upwards. Don't get hit. That was very close. Now, playing this Blood Bank might seem like a silly decision, but we could play the shit out of it and just continually respawn uh, with nine lives, but I don't think that's really where we want to go with our lives right now. We're gonna sneak through here. This has got to be the right way to the boss room. This is a, a touchy room right here. No question about that. I was really hoping that guy died before that happened to me. Uh, and of course, well, now we might as well go check out the shop. I, I could buy the map, but again, I'm, I'm gonna stick to the idea that the shop is not okay. Now that health upgrade that we got from SMB Superfan is gone? Okay, well, certainly not really interested in taking health upgrades now. We're just gonna sprint down here. I can't believe that these guys don't die in one hit, but on the bright side, we have learned a better way to deal with this room, which is don't stand there, stand here instead. Okay, we've survived, but we're in a very rough situation, and it, it's coming to my attention now that SMB Superfan was an entirely terrible decision. I didn't realize that that health would not stick around. This is why I probably, like, why uh, Nine Lives was, like, the worst item I could have taken, because I don't understand how Nine Lives works most of the time, so... Uh, it, it, it puts me in a bad situation because I don't understand the exact mechanics of it. Anyway, we're going to fight Mom here. Considering we only have half of a heart, I'm not going to use the Empress card yet. That doesn't mean that it's a foregone conclusion that we'll fail this run. Like, quite the contrary, with the amount of damage that we're doing, Mom's knife should not, or Mom should not be all that difficult in general. We've already got her down below 50%. Of course, one Renegade hit is all that it takes to kill me. We do have six lives left, though. So, uh, I, I feel somewhat confident. As long as I don't get caught in the explosion... We should be okay. I didn't get caught in the explosion. Uh, I'll take the health. I'll take the Polaroid for sure. Now what do I want going down to the next floor? Uh, I think it has to be the wafer. Wafer positive, wiggle worm negative. So heads, uh, wafer, tails, wiggle worm. Let's load up random.org again. Heads, wiggle worm, Queen Elizabeth, or sorry, Queen Elizabeth, wafer, and wiggle worm will be a caribou. It's uh, Queen Elizabeth, so we get the wafer. That is actually probably the single best flip that we've had so far, because it means that our survival on the next floor, at least we have a chance. So I think that's under the wafer. It is indeed. We will now go back to the Binding of Isaac. As we go through this vignette here, I will take my opportunity to close Avira, which is continuing to basically be spyware on my computer. Love you too, Avira. Um, this is looking like it's going to be a pink floor or an XL glitch. Isaac is not responding. So we'll give it a second here. Someone told me there was a, an actual, like, hard fix for the uh, pink glitch. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, so, you know, if you actually know that, 
feel free to tweet me again. I think I like, just got lost in the... I was streaming, so there was like a thousand tweets that day. Um, we're gonna move onwards here. Wafer is such a good pickup. Basically just gave us a chance of survival. Uh, might as well throw Lemon Mishap down there as well. I might have actually killed that Silkworm. Now, obviously health is a real sore spot for us. I don't really know what to do about that. We should maybe, again, just go straight with the, uh, the Relic. Which I probably should have gotten on an earlier floor, maybe squandered some chances. Uh, but I can't complain because we're still alive and we still have six lives. So, you know, everything's, I wouldn't necessarily say coming up Millhouse. But we're not in an awful situation yet. This could change pretty drastically pretty quickly. Now, just walk into this dude. I almost killed myself there. Our boss room contains Pageant Boy. If it had been an HP upgrade, as it almost always is, that would have been an enormous boon to our chances. Sadly, another one of the 10 horse items in the game has appeared there. Okay, so we're okay. And I have not been hit, which is fantastic. We kind of need a red heart drop. Oh my god, Judgment. Will you be my lucky star? Remember, okay, that spirit heart is super valuable. I've got to get out of here, though. Um, Judgment items are totally A-OK, -okay, so he's giving me a health upgrade and a spirit heart. Even if we died walking out of there, uh, that would have been incredibly beneficial for us. Well worth a life to kind of triple our chances of surviving on this life. Um, or on the next life, I suppose it would be technically in that situation. Now, I've got to be very focused with my dodging here. Which is probably one of the nerdiest sentences I've ever said on Ironically in my entire life. Just kind of wanted, wanted to wait around there and see if the... Bomb accidentally exploded a covert tinted rock, if you will. It did not, so we have moved on to the next room where I am dealing with two of the easier enemies that we could possibly face. Remember, we are in the Womb XL here, so I should have two chances to uh, get items. I'm just not sure how I want to do it. Like, maybe I want to try... Hey, we got lucky. Speed upgrade. Um, maybe I want to try to get one in between the boss fights. Uh, but then that's gonna cause us to Zelda as we go into the Mom's Heart boss fight, whether we win or lose. So maybe I'll just make two predictions after the Mom's Heart boss fight, assuming I survive. Oh my god, I've taken... I lost a whole Spirit Heart there, which is real silly, given that this fight should be pretty easy. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's the way I'm gonna deal with things. So we're gonna throw this uh, Lemon Mishap down. If I can force these guys to continually walk into it, uh, maybe that'll be solid enough for me to survive a little bit. This fight has actually gone better than expected, believe it or not. Please die. Get close and then die. There we go. Okay, so we got a pill. The pill could be good. We haven't seen this one yet. Pretty fly. That's pretty solid, actually. Uh, our Empress card is now looking increasingly valuable as we approach this Mom's Heart boss fight. I think I can beat Mom's Heart without taking two hearts of damage. But if we die, I'm pretty sure we just go straight back to uh, one health. So I've got to be cautious about that for sure. We've really got to kind of pick which life we're gonna use and then roll with it. Um, you know, more bombs, more money. Sure, maybe it's valuable. Uh, but what have you done for me lately, money? Now, just don't get too close. Stay away. I've got a knife, and I sort of know how to use it sometimes. Holy water allowed me to kill that guy very easily. We've gotta be coming close to the boss room here. Uh, if so, I will backtrack when we discover the boss room and try to get myself back to full health, because we're gonna be doing two bosses in very short succession, which kinda sounds like the start of a porno. Um, do we know what is this another pretty fly? It is indeed. That was well worth uh, going out of my way for. Even these spikes will only hit me once, I believe. I just wanted to make sure I got the Empress card back. We walked well there. Um, yeah, sure. Let's toss down Lemon Mishap. It seems like these guys would actually be uh, fairly weak to Lemon Mishap and Holy Water, of course, if they hit me, but they didn't, and I actually got back to full health. Everything's getting a little bit better, I think. Feeling a little bit more positive. Uh, a lot of our chances for success or a lot of our chance for success, I guess is a better way to put this, hinges on uh, whatever boss we end up fighting next. So, like, the first boss on the, the womb is going to be a big deal uh, to see, you know, if we run up against the Fallen or something, that's going to be pretty tough. Uh, if we run up against Skolex, then I'm going to be a very, very happy man. Fighting two Dukes of Flies is pretty okay. Especially they are champions, so they will produce uh, some kind of item that may actually benefit me in the long run. Now there is a champion, or a, a green fly, which worries me a little bit, but sweet chain reaction. We're safe. All we gotta do is kill these guys now. The extra health is worth something. What do you drop for me, though? You got some keys, you got some anything, you got some bombs. Okay, well, we can use bombs against Mom's heart. 
Might be able to use Lemon Mishap against Mom's Heart, too. Uh, now, this is a, sort of a tricky room, but the fact that we have Mom's Knife means we can just kind of stay in this quadrant right here, and then eventually, I can't believe I didn't kill that dude, then just walk into him, like so, and he will die, we'll pick up some money, and we've really, we, we've done the rounds on this floor so far. Wrath should be easy, as long as I don't get myself trapped in a situation like I just did, uh, and I really can't afford to let these guys, like, Animal Crossing me. Well, Nintendo Land style Animal Crossing, where they trap me uh, in a corner between the two of them. It makes Animal Crossing sound like a much darker game, I suppose. Alright, come on. Single Wrath, easy enough. Mr. Boom, we don't want, nor do we want the Lucky Toe. So we have. Now we're at full health, we're at the boss fight. Boss fights, I guess I should say. And with only one of these dudes left, perfect shot is great. Alright, first boss, probably not gonna use the Empress card. We're fighting Teratoma, that's. As close to an ideal situation as we can get without the boss actually being Skolex or just like a free play. Uh, so I'm okay. I, I'm pretty sure I can beat this fight without taking damage, which might be a border- up. Oh, that's what I get. But we might get some health anyway. Uh, it might be a borderline necessity to beat this fight without taking damage if we're gonna have a good chance of succeeding against Mom's hearts. Which is not a horrible boss fight. That was another spell of terrible damage there. Goddamn spiders, man. Shouldn't be as tough as they are. For me, anyway. Um, oh, okay, I didn't mean to pick up the coin purse. We're not gonna take the pills. That was a total accident. Good thing that I, that was just force of habit. Good thing that uh, this is like a uh, an, an item that doesn't automatically give us its effects. So now we're gonna try to fight Mom's heart. I say try because anything could happen here. Uh, we're gonna drop Lemon Mishap down, which, you know, beats me how that's gonna work because these are flying enemies. Probably a pretty silly mistake on my part, but, uh, you know, what did that cost us? Like 2% of Mom's health to begin with? We'll put some bombs down, it's gonna go bomb knife, bomb knife, bomb knife, and I, you know what? I would not be surprised if we beat this fight without taking any damage, which is good because I totally forgot to backtrack to get some extra health. So if we die on this one, I think we're gonna respawn with only one heart, which is, uh, you know, pretty silly of me overall. Let's put this bomb down here, kill the Larry Juniors, then get in there for like an extra 10% of the damage. The Zombros are almost all gonna die. I can't believe you have to be like pixel perfect with mom's knife to get a kill on these zombies. Uh, again, we'll blow up these kind of weird sissy dudes. Oh my god, did mom's- it's already firing bombs continuously. Just kill it before it shoots anymore. Oh my god, it's so close. Okay. There we go. We're alive and we're actually gonna get some extra health. So now I get two chances. I think at this point we have to try to stack health and make this run work for us. I'm gonna go first one, wiggle worm, lard. So heads, Queen Elizabeth, lard, uh, Tails, Wiggle Worm. So let's get random up. So we're flipping. It's Wiggle Worm. So one of our items is gonna be Wiggle Worm. Uh, we can't leave yet, but we'll, we'll set it up, don't worry. First item that we get is gonna be Wiggle Worm. Second, let's say, um, Lard and... I guess I'll go open Cheat Engine here so I can see what's bad. Uh, Lard and... Hmm... Skatol? I think Skatol is pretty bad, so... Heads, Queen Elizabeth, Lard, Tails, Skatol, the Fly Love item. So we get lard and wiggle worm. So let's bring this down here. Uh, okay, wiggle worm, which is not so much a bad item as it is just not useful at all. Uh, and this will be our first item, which is kind of unfortunate because we're gonna have to turn off cheat engine. We're gonna get wiggle worm. We're not gonna get lard until the end of the next room. So let's get cheat engine turned off here. I think we have a decent chance of making this work now. You might think I'm crazy, but I'm not the only one. Once we get lard, the we can live as one? I don't know, man. Okay, we've got to be, obviously, very, very cautious about our situation here. A single one of these bomb flies could put a serious dent in my chances, as you can see. Well, on the bright side, should be able to kill these guys without getting hit. That was kind of close. Uh, now we can get lard. <laughs> that could have been terrible. And actually, lard is going to be an awesome upgrade for us here, despite the speed down. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Lard? Bucket of lard, I think that's it. Okay, so there we go. And add item when entering next room. We'll see if we get that. We do. Uh, it doesn't really give us that much in the way of health, which is unfortunate. But... If we can get some more health, then I will be uh, much, much happier about our existing situation. Double Loki doesn't worry me too, too much. Should be able to kill him. Like, once we get one Loki killed, the fight becomes substantially easier. So I'm just gonna focus on this one over here for now, while dodging the bomb flies, of course. If I could actually- Wiggle Worm is actually causing a serious negative impact here. It's making it very difficult to reliably hit 
uh, Loki the same way I've been hitting Loki, you know, in the past for hundreds of runs. Uh, I don't know if Wiggle Worm provides us any tangible benefit, which I guess makes it a great candidate for the bad item, which we got. And it actually is, believe it or not, having a surprisingly negative effect. I kind of considered it to, it would just be a non-entity, basically. Not really impact our run all that all, all, all that much, I should say, but instead, this knife is, is not doing consistent damage because it kind of phases in and out of being effective. Now again, we're just dodging a bomb flash here. It's basically like a boss fight. Easy enough. Loki is dead. Now we focus on the bomb flies. Uh, again, it might seem like it's having a very subtle effect. I assure you, it's more pronounced than you might initially think. Uh, it, it wavers a surprising degree. Really would have liked to get some red health as a result of this room. Like, look at that diagonal shot that just came out there. That was super weird. Um, also, the knife seems to stick a little bit more when it comes out, which is actually not necessarily a negative. That could be a positive if I actually get the enemy caught in my sights and it allows me to do more damage. Uh, but again, that's up in the air. I, I think that might have been a situation where it actually worked out fantastic. Okay, so we were uh, about to die. We're just going to stand next to all these dudes and then run away as fast as we can. Thank you, Halo of Flies, or, you know, two pretty flies I got. Oh, God, he got super close there. That's okay, though. We made it, and we got a safety cap, which is not useful. Um, so we will use the Polaroid, as always. Still very frightened about the prospect of dying here, which I think would leave me with only one heart. So if we have anything over one heart going into this Isaac boss fight, we are absolutely going to use the Empress. Oh, my God, these fucking wiggle worm shots, man. It's very, very tedious. Uh, we got nothing in here except the worst enemies in the game. Okay, that was good. That was not as good. We got very close to being hit there, but that's okay. We're still... Come on, Wiggle Worm! Work with me here. Okay, one and a half hearts. We're in Empress territory. Now, this is a scary situation. Yep, definitely gonna take damage there. Uh, sadly, Polaroid did not proc. That was very close. So we're gonna put a bomb down here, then we're gonna kick it around. We're gonna do exactly the same thing again. That worked out fantastically. I wish we picked up some health, but, uh... God, I hate those guys. Now, these are gonna die in one hit each. But, oh, so am I. Oh, no, we actually... I forgot that we had an extra hit because of, uh, the wafer. So every red heart that we get, even half red hearts, is actually really valuable, not just for the health it gives us, but for the fact it gives us, uh, prolonged invincibility as well. So we're fighting Blue Famine here. Easy fights. Assuming I don't take any damage. Uh, definitely worth a bomb to get half of the red hearts. 100%. Still very concerned about our chances moving forwards, but uh, feeling a little bit better now that I've recalled that we have the wafer indeed. So I, I want to use Lemon Mishap, don't get me wrong. But what I don't want to do is get super close to enemies. So I think Sloth is going to die fairly easily. Gives us a Red Heart and hopefully a Two of Hearts card. It's a Two of Clubs, we'll pop that right away. Because I want to continue rolling with the Empress. If we make this run work, it'll be a surprise to me and uh, you will like, I assure you. Because I'm feeling... Very much on the edge of my seat right now. Again, these guys will basically die in uh, two or three hits each. But again, to actually get those hits, you have to, you know, hit them. Which I have not been very good at so far. Okay, we're at our boss. Two hearts gives us three hits plus a period of invincibility. So I, I really don't want to lose any more health. But I think we should try to fight this. And to be honest, I think we should pop the Empress card right away. So we're going to pop the Empress. Uh, and then we're going to focus above all else on remarkable dodging. And if we make it through this, we have four free items on the chest. That's what's keeping me going here. Obviously, if we get hit, we're gonna try to run in and knock uh, Isaac around with Lemon Mishap a little bit. So far, so good. We're more than halfway through his health. We're doing a lot of damage. Uh, we're more than halfway through his health without having been hit ourselves uh, more than once, at least. Which is an awkward way to phrase that, but hopefully you understand. Uh, Isaac is probably one hit away from death, then we're gonna have to deal with these asshole angel fetuses. But there's a little bit of extra red health on the ground, and I think the chest is basically uh, within our grasp now. So let's talk about items. I need health. I, at this point, I almost feel like I should go with the rosary. So I'm gonna say Queen Elizabeth gives us the rosary, and we get Skatole if we uh, get the caribou. So let's, again, open random.org. Queen Elizabeth is the rosary, so we are gonna roll with that, and... Uh, go all the way down here. The Rosary. I picked it because I think it gives us extra... It gives us Spirit Heart. Oh my god, is it not called the Rosary? Is it just Rosary? Rose... Yes, it is. Okay. Um, 
It gives us spirit hearts, it gives us red hearts, it causes the Bible to show up more often, which is bad, but uh, everything else about it is good. So we'll take the rosary down to the next floor. So we've picked up a decent amount of spirit hearts there, which might be enough to carry us through. Uh, and then we have four items here, of which we are going to take every single one that we are able to. First things first, bomb bag. Not all that useful. Secondly, Dino Kamikaze. Totally useless. Rainbow Baby. Promo mostly useless, but still okay. And Sacrificial Dagger. Also pretty good. It's fair to say these are not game-changing items, though, so it's not like we picked up, you know, Polyphemus or anything down here that's going to allow us to one-shot Blue Baby. Blue Baby fight probably going to be substantially harder than our uh, initial Isaac fight. That was bad damage, but um, largely because we're not going to have the Empress card unless everything goes uh, incredibly well, which is pretty unlikely. But, you know, we do have much more health. We found a secret room there. Uh, we, at least we have much more health right now. We have six cracks at this as well. I know there's people out there that are going to argue that 9 lives was a good item to take as opposed to a bad item. Let me just say that I disagree, uh, and, and hopefully that'll be enough. No, we'll take the fish head. There's no need for us to stick with uh, the Polaroid at this point. Greed can go F himself as far as I'm concerned. Oh, blue spike room that is a dead end room is not something I want to be a part of. Uh, red fire room, also pretty annoying, but we don't need to hang out in there. And there's our boss! Okay, so we're going to be fighting champion version of Bloat right before Blue Baby. Obviously, a somewhat less than ideal set of circumstances for me. But provided we still have a decent amount of health, once we finish here, uh, I'm not going to feel too bad about the situation. I just wish I could shoot the knife better. I can shoot it diagonally, but it, it takes a certain amount of precision that I don't necessarily possess. Okay, just back it up a little bit. We can't afford to take too much more damage. Unfortunately, I, I find myself in a position where... Uh, I, I have taken a lot of damage already, and I, I can't seem to find an opening to attack this guy because he keeps jumping. There we go. What? Oh, he's still alive! Play it cool, play it cool. He's dead, okay. And he dropped a spirit heart. This might be what carries us through. Let's give it the old college try. We're doing decent damage. Don't get hit, uh, he says as he gets hit. And you know what? I think we're flat 50-50. I think we're basically even with Blue Baby. Um, we've got something like eight hits or seven hits that we can take. We're gonna have a period of invincibility. I don't have, like, Poison Touch or anything like that. I've already been hit three times or something. Uh, the invincibility is gonna be a big moment, and actually Rainbow Baby hitting him with a Gish element there feels real good. There's another hit for us. We're down to two now. He's on his final phase. Pretty soon we're gonna have that period of invincibility I talked about. I'm just gonna throw down Lemon Mishap. Uh, one more hit is gonna make me invincible. Uh, but he's gotta be very close to death regardless. That was an incredibly lucky dodge. I can't stress that enough. Oh, what the heck? I didn't take the Polaroid so he didn't have invincibility! What was I thinking? Is the fish head really worth it? That was the stupidest decision I've ever made. Now we're just, we're done. I totally fucked it up. <laughs> we were in such a great position. I had him in the, well now we gotta beat him without getting hit. Five times. Well, we can get hit twice. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, what a colossal fuck-up. All because I thought the fish head would be better than the Polaroid because we're already on the final boss. Wow. Suffice it to say, that is a disappointing way to fail. Uh, but we haven't technically failed yet. The odds are not good for us. We're sitting at probably like 10% chance of success. Uh, it's gonna require me doing a run where I only get hit once. I should go back and get the Polaroid to get that brief period of invincibility, by the way, uh, but I was too despondent. Oh, I don't even know what hit us there. Okay, we're gonna go back, we're gonna get the Polaroid. I was curious about whether or not I could walk through there. Uh, and we're gonna make, try to make this work. Actually, at this point, I kind of feel like a good course of action might be to take Kamikaze. Then if we get hit, we run, we use Mom's knife, uh, we smack the shit out of him, we just mash the space bar. With three lives remaining, uh, this is gonna be a very interesting series of fights. I think we're fucked. I'm, I'm not gonna mince words there, but I need to focus kind of incredibly here. Yeah, because now that we get hit, we walk in, bash the shit out of him, make sure to point the knife at him, that would be beneficial. Um, I don't know if that worked out substantially better for us than the last run. Somehow we've managed to not take damage though. Well, we, we got hit once of course, but since then we've been okay. Every time I make it to the second phase, a brief glimmer of hope appears just in time to be totally shot down. So we're gonna try this again. Oh man, I will never forgive myself. Actually, I will forgive myself in about 10 minutes. That was a, a terrible 
uh, piece of damage to take there. I have figured out how to use Kamikaze a little bit better. It's basically good for taking him down, you know, half of a phase. Which is better than Lemon Mishap, but still pretty bad overall. Now, if Rainbow Baby gets off a string of slows here... Oh, that was... I shouldn't be that close to him, I think. But it's kind of a moot point at this point anyway. Um, just let's, let's play the most patient style I possibly can. Which is just backing it up, dealing with the flies as they come. Dropping some bitchin' shots and then immediately getting hit regardless of the best laid plans that I had. Uh, so again, we're in exactly the same phase and I expect we'll be dead in a matter of moments. Oh, there we go! Alright, well, I totally fucked that up for myself, but I tried! Again, I don't know why you hate Idaho. Hates Idaho. But thank you for that challenge run suggestion. As always, continue suggesting your own, and I will do the ones that I deem most entertaining or appropriate. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.